Welcome back to 52 Moments, where I answer things like, Who are you? Or, Were you always like this? Or even, What makes you tick? As best I can. Along the way, I hope you'll learn more about me. So, let's get to it. This episode is titled, Names I've Been Called. And right off the top, I'm going to give you a content warning. This episode is about bullying. And if that's going to upset you, try and find something else. Just stop this video. For the rest of you, names I've been called include whale, hippo, and cow. Those all have in common weight. And most of those that, well, actually all of that happened around grade two, three to grade seven. To the point that after grade seven, I begged my parents to go to a different school than everyone else was going to. And we made that happen. So for elementary school, I was for some reason singled out as the kid to pick on. I have looked back at this a lot. This is me in grade three. I'm not the fat kid. There wasn't a lot different about me. I had, I was poor. Like we didn't have a lot of money. My parents just budgeted really hard. One of the ways my parents budgeted was that my mom made a lot of my clothes. Looking back on this, I'm astounded. Like that's a lot of work. And those clothes lasted because they were handmade. But they made me look different. Um, I was also a pretty emotional kid. And so chances are when people called me names, I reacted. One of the ways I sometimes reacted was being very angry, sometimes physically so. Um, there were definitely fights in the schoolyard. I do not remember uh, starting any of them, but I definitely remember getting into them. Um, I don't think I came home with any black eyes or anything like that, but definitely bruises and scratches. Um, the whale thing was the first. And luckily, I could turn to media to salvage that one. Because the Save the Whales campaign started in 1975, which was right about the same time as all of this nonsense started. Um picking up speed for me. So uh, I could slap a Save the Whales button on my backpack and that just made it feel like at least if people were gonna call me whale, I could remind myself that I was worth saving. Eventually they got bored of that and they moved on to Hippo. That one persisted for quite a while. And a lot of it was just you know, when I would walk by, people would, you know, imitate heavy feet, like doom, 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 or something like that. Like it was just really annoying um, and really hard to keep my head up. But I was doing okay. Like grade five, six were fantastic years for me in school. I was in choir, I was in a glee club, I was in theater, I helped with the school newsletter. I was very academic in those years. Like, those were great years for me. I had two great teachers. The hippo stuff happened every time I went out in the hallway, anytime I was in gym class, anytime I was on recess, whatever. Super annoying. But at the end of grade six, I had a birthday party. And one of the things I got from one of my peers was a stuffed hippo. It was yellow. 
I don't remember much more about it. And right in that moment, I had to make a decision. I had to show that this wasn't upsetting to me, which inside it was like my heart just kind of caved in on itself when I opened that package. But out of my mouth, I heard myself say, oh, I collect hippos. And suddenly I collected hippos to the point that by my 20s, when I started, when I moved out of home, I had almost two full boxes of hippos. I don't know. <laughs> um, I still have one. I got rid of most of them, but this fella, he still sits around um, in my living room. But most of the rest are long gone. Um, I finally decided I didn't need that necessarily that reminder. So by reclaiming hippo, my bully had to come up with a new term and they settled on cow. Now that made grade seven pretty awful because uh, the guy who bullied me the most, his name was Troy. He started mooing when I would go by in the hall. Moo. And he would do it like out of the side of his mouth or behind his textbooks or whatever. And gradually other kids picked it up. Until there was one day when I was the last one coming into the classroom and I don't remember why. But I walked in and the whole class quietly moo. The teacher flipped out demanded to know who started that, who was doing that, as I was fighting back tears. I took my seat and the teacher kept going about like, you know, what the hell, and um, basically took away everyone's recess that day. Except me, I got to go out. And that sucked because then they doubled down. And like a week later, I got one of those mooing cow toys stuck in my desk like great and that basically persisted until the time I left the school um, to this day it's really hard for me to hear anyone else called hippo cow whale I've done a lot of work and I've managed to mostly separate it from myself but it still hurts just a little bit, just like it just shaves a little bit off of my love of humankind or whatever. Like it just, it's one of those things where I, I just sit there and think, well, people suck and they kind of do. This had a long impact on me. It had a long impact on how I saw myself, on how I felt about myself on how I interacted with a lot of different people. I didn't trust a compliment. I still find it hard to trust compliments. Um, it lingered for a very long time. And you know, in hindsight, that was like half of my school life was being really constantly teased, taunted, bullied. The bullying in high school was different. And it was mostly because I was a nerd, not because I was fat. And I wasn't fat. Like I was 100 pounds lighter than I am now. No lie. <laughs> um, but for whatever reason, that's what they stuck on. So yeah, people suck. And now you know another thing about why I am the way I am. And I'll try to make the next video a happier one. Thanks.